Hi everyone, it's Dash Dave here again. I'm back for another crafty video. So, this time we're going to make a passport. Right, okay, just let me clarify. I haven't turned into some master criminal. Um, I just thought I wanted to make one that looked like an old passport, you know, that somebody's used and, you know, had a couple of stamps in, etc. It's obviously expired and, you know, with a an ID bit at the back and I just wanted to make one um, and I thought it would be nice in this whole utilitarian kind of thing that I'm doing so I did start to make another one of these however I'd, pro I'd forgotten to press record so uh, here's one I've partially made earlier so I'll tell you what I did and then you can do the same if you want to do the same so all I did was I got some pages and folded them I got some A4 pages, folded them in half, cut them down, well, sorry, cut them in half, and then folded them in half again. So this is now A6 size. So um, the smaller it gets, the bigger the number. And I just got, I'm just going to decide, I think I had 10 pages in the other one, so I'm going to do, what, five pages, five sheets, 10 pages. So I'm going to do five sheets again. So yeah, so way too many. So cut them I've cut them down to size and I've cut them in I'm sorry and scored them in half and then scored them properly and then just left them like that and then what I did was I got a bit of file folder and I made it so that it would these would fit inside it like this and if you look at this one this one I've cut a piece of paper out and stuck that on the front and um I was looking at an old British passport um, and they had a cutout on them. Um, I've I've got my old, my dad's old one um, from when he was alive and this was before we, we went, we had a European Union one and now we've gone back to having a British one because we're no longer in the Union and anyway, anyway all of that, forget about, about that, we're talking about historic so I wanted to make, make one look a bit historic so um, and I noticed that these lozenges were cut out of the other one, so I wanted to kind of recreate that. So um, I've changed it slightly. So all I'd done is, while I was recording, is I'd, start, I'd folded them and started cutting them out. But rather than do it again, um, I'm, I've started from here. I'm sure you can use a die cutter and I'm sure you can cut them out. So now you're thinking, well, he's got four holes in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to join those up so they turn into this kind of lozenge shape. So, let's get that sorted. So, um, I'm just going to kind of line that up, those holes up, and then, well, they would if you could see it again. There we go. Turn away for five minutes, and, well, not even five minutes, but we're going to go from there to there and join that bit up. And we're going to move that down and join this bit up. So the two holes together will create that kind of lozenge shape that I'm looking for. You just have to be careful that you don't go too far. And then that should come out. Yeah, we've got that lozenge shape. There we go. That's just what I wanted, said Tracy Allman. My name's not Tracy Allman, obviously, but she, uh, Sorry about all I've got, just about always wanted. Yeah, so, um, I can't remember the words, so something like a, a mink from Paris and a flea from Rome, something like that. No, it isn't that. But <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> there you go. So, anyway, <laughs> we're not here for my singing. So, I'm just going to join them up. Like that. There we go. Cool. And now we've got that. So we're going to put the numbers behind the behind them. Yeah. So um, you'll notice here I did did a bit of um, embossing. So I'm going to use some embossing powder. We might do that again. I'll just have to find a different stamp because that's now going to be way too big for there. Um, so I'll have to find a stamp that will fit in that space. So um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make that score better, and then I'm going to. Um, sew it together so what that's what I did on this one so if you look at this it's sewn down the middle 
um, because you've only got a few pages and the cardboard was quite thin, I could do it safely without breaking my needle. I think I did a very good job of getting that in a straight line. I'm quite proud of myself. My sewing skills are getting much better these days. So the other thing I need to think about is I'll need to have some kind of board at the back of here, otherwise those that strip of paper you'd be able to see, won't you? So um, I've got to think how I'm going to do that. Probably use another piece of this. In fact, that would make very much sense. Let's do that and cut this out. So I'm going to make it so that it's a little bit smaller than this. And I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm going to put a line there. And I also want, also want to cut it down so that it sort of touches the... Maybe a little bit away from the the fold line so about there okay so let's whatever measurement that is we'll make that the same all the way down can I actually see that measurement oh it's a little right we're going to make it ten and a half because that's an e that's much easier to to do all the way down the page it was 10.6 but that's not as easy to to get every time my eyesight is not the best new glasses are on the way but they aren't here yet so i will i'll be able to see again so glasses are so expensive well certainly are in the uk i don't know about you guys but and the problem the annoying thing is not everybody has to wear them oh i thought i'd cut the my mark off but i hadn't that's good you know, you wouldn't mind if everybody was in the same boat, but we're not all in the same boat. Some people don't ever, ever have to wear them, do they? So, okay, that's four point seven. We're going to leave it at four point seven. Sorry, fourteen point seven. We're going to leave it at fourteen point seven. Because I think two millimeters shorter would be too much. Hang on, that's one. There we go, that's two there. And then that's one, one, two there. Okay, cut that bit off. So I'm not giving you measurements and stuff for this because you just need to go by, you know, eye and what you think and there's no right or wrong. You can make a miniature passport if you like on this. There's, there's no right or wrong on any of the stuff that I do, but I kind of, this is a fairly easy, we're making a little book, so, sorry, I've got an itchy n nose, so, well, bridge of my nose, so, there we go, cool, so that's going to go in there, and then that way then, that can have the cream coloured paper sat behind it, so, um, there we go. So we're going to open this out. So um, I can hear Alexa talking to Worcester for some reason. Oh, and earlier. Weird. Very weird. I was sat up here and I heard the doo -doo of the um, Netflix logo. Um, and I was thinking, what? What? There's somebody in my house. But no, I went downstairs and somehow... Netflix had switched itself on, so bizarre. It's, don't know how, or you know, Worcester had, had decided he wanted to watch Netflix. I'm not quite sure. You know, there's a thing about cats and dogs on there at the minute. Maybe that's what he wanted. But he was fast when I went downstairs. Well, he he was fast asleep, but like you know, he could have been having me on, couldn't he? So, so I'm going to clip that up there, and then I'm going to clip that this here okay so i've used just some like coffee dyed colored paper on this one this one was just also coffee dyed but like random different paper and then i've i've over stamped it with like a well like a, a, a an image just to give it like 
you know like it's been security marked in some way so actually just used i just used this stamp which that's the acetate of course so i just used that can you see that 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 stamp over it but lightly stamped it so it just gave it that kind of like look of a security mark so i'm going to sew this in but i'm just worried that that's not in the right place so there we go that's more like it so we'll, we'll do that in a second so i'm just thinking now do I want to put stick that in first or do I want to stick it in after? I'll stick it in after. Do I want to do anything to the cover first before I do that? No, I don't. So I will just set the camera up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to sew. No, sew. <laughs> so I'm going to sew. Um, I'm going to sew it. So I'm sewing it this way up, okay, so that the cover is on the upper side. And then I'm just going to hope to goodness that the <laughs> the centre of the pages line up. I'm um, just going to put my foot down. I'm just going to put my foot down. So, and I'm just going to just start it with, I'm going to use my, ha my reel on the side just to start it and make sure I get the right line. So I'm going to go slowly. It will not be a fast sew. <laughs> the truth of truth oh not bad it's not perfect but it's not bad either right i'm just going to move the sewing machine so there we go so that's it's not like i say it's not perfect but it, it it's fine knee bother so i'm just going to put that score line in now you have to just make sure that you have it the right way up <laughs> when you're doing this whichever way you want to have it you know because there are some countries that reads left no right to left rather than left to right so you might want it that way around and have the hinge that way but it's entirely up to you so but i want to make sure i have it this way around so um i now want to kind of place my uh my things my markings my number things and i want to have a bit of paper now I keep lots of paper so just bear with me a second while I find a piece of paper that is suitable but I normally say I normally say I will keep it there you go you've seen this before I've kept that from an off cut from something and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that I'm just going to draw so that I know roughly how big the lozenge is and then all I'm going to do is make sure that it cut, I cut, when I cut it out, it's bigger than that. So, just get my Tim Holt scissors out. And I'm just going to cut it there. And then I'm just, that way then I can cut it in half. Okay, so this is going to sit behind here like this. Top and bottom. One's going to have the name in, one's going to have a number in it, and then that way then we can make sure that we get that kind of in the right place. So, um, I am... Um, let's put... Um, let's just do a temporary stick. So I'm just going to use a bit of washi tape to do a temporary stick just on the top and the bottom. So these stick in the right place. Well, not there's no right or wrong place, but like as long as they're covered, the the holes are covered up. Yeah. Well, actually, we don't want that one that way up because that's the pencil line one. We'll do it that way. Yep, that's fine. So then, what we can do is we can place this over the top. 
we can put some glue on the back of here and then when we lift this away we know that that's going to be in the right place when we stick it back down again and then we can get the all the centering and stuff we can move this away while we do the stamping if you know what i mean so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue not it's not going to be finished gl glue level i'm just going to put that there hover that over the back so that it sticks down on those two pieces that i've just glued and flip it out and the washi tape oh dear i was gonna say and the washi tape should stay in stuck to the the um white card but it didn't it did on the top one not on the bottom one there you go that's it so and then we can just peel that bit of washi tape off and then that way then we know that they are lined up and we can just then lift this up around the edge doesn't need to be glued down really because the whole thing this whole thing is going to get glued to that bag we'll just stick it down for now so that it doesn't move there's no chance of it moving while i do any stamping to it get that all the way around I have to kind of go by memory. I don't have a passport of my own. I used I used to. It's just it's expired. And also the European Union. Mine mine's a European Union. Well, they're not very exciting. They were much nicer in the old days. So, okay. So I just need to tidy up a bit because otherwise it gets. When I was making the prototype, it got very cluttered around here because there's going to be a lot of stamps coming in in a moment. So we're going to move the prototype out of the way. Uh, I say we're going to move it out of the way and what's going to happen is we're going to have an avalanche instead so we'll move that out over there so then what I did was so we'll come back to this and we'll do that that'll be kind of one of the last things that we, that we do so then I went flipped it to the back and I wanted to do the the page at the back so when I was starting to do the page at the back, that's when I thought, well, it needs some kind of security marking in the in the background. So you can do whatever you like to put any kind of. So I, like I say, like winning the lottery every time, like you move something in this place, something falls off. Um, I'm just going to find my stamp. I'm just showing you the the image of it. Oh, it's there. So I used this to create that kind of marking thing. I might use this one again, actually. And I have a stamping block somewhere here. This has got that image that I used at the fr on the front on it, but I'm not going to use it this time because it's not going to fit. So I'm just going to put that on. And I used, I literally used pumice stone, um, Tim Holtz pumice stone. Um, to make the markings in the background this time i want it to be kind of a i don't know maybe a i'm gonna go with a green i'm gonna go for crushed olive and then I, all i did was i just went over the whole thing and then i lightly stamped it like that and literally did every page and it just you know you can put more than one color on in fact i might do two colors it might be green and red maybe well, that didn't come out very well i'll do that that one again there we go. and i know i use this stamp a lot it's just like it because it just gives it a bit of like in this case security <laughs> it's my security stamp i don't have a security blanket i have a security stamp and you know Yes, I know it looks like equations, but like once, once it's faded down and you know you've stamped over the top of it, you're not really going to be able to tell what it is. So um, that's why I wasn't worried about what it what it actually is. But if you look at your have a passport, if you look in your passport, your passport won't just be plain pages. It'll have markings on the page so that it can be, you know, they can tell whether you've forged any of it. So. You know, hopefully you don't. 
hopefully the only passports you make are to go in your diaries and I, what i like about this is it gives it that element of a um passport but it's great journaling space and we all love a bit of journey journaling space we can get a bit over zealous when we're us crafters we make a lot of things and then we think mm, there's not many places to write in it now but this is perfect for things like that so plain, well, look at all these pages you've got 10 leaves and um 20 sides well no you get like you get 19 sides because you went putting like a a photo on one of them so um and then i shall put this first page in as well okay so i think i'm going to do another color i might need to just give this a wipe i won't wipe it on my trousers <laughs> It went through my head, I'll be honest, <laughs> but I went. Get this cloth, <laughs> use the cloth instead. Um, I'm thinking, what on earth am I going to wipe it on? Trousers, no, not trousers, Dave. No trousers. No trousers were harmed in the making of this video. So, all of my red stamps are very juicy new. Juicy new. Juicy new. Juicy new. I might have one called... I've got some of these ones. I did have a oh, there you go. Wine, is it? Fine wine, it's called. It's an artistry. This is one that Brian gave me, so I'm not sure how juicy they are. Yeah, did have them a while, so. And, but anyway, remember, we're not going to stamp it properly. We're just going to. I just want to make sure I get it a different way around this time. There we go. Perfect. What we want it to do, give that look of... I always think red gives it that kind of security look. That validation. Yes. I mean, like, they tend to have lots of swirly things on, but I don't have a swirly stamp, so... It's actually easier to do first one, second one. You can just do first one, second one, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Second generation stamp on this is fine because you're not really using it as getting the stamp out. And, you know, we like, we like making things and new things to make and, you know, why not? Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to title this, though. You know, how to make your own passport. <laughs> I feel I'm going to be, you know, have the strong arm of the law breathing down my neck. The strong arm of the law breathing down my neck. I don't think that really works. It's <laughs> get a knock on the door. Um, uh, can we have a conversation with you, please, Mr. Flynn? But, you know, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Let's face it, I've been making customer records as well, so I, I think I'm... I feel like I'm digging a big hole for myself here, but... <laughs> well, we can joke about these things. Hopefully we can. <laughs> anyway, sorry, officer. Not on there. Oh, that's not quite do the bottom of that page. I'm just going to do the back of here. I didn't do the back on the other one. Not with the other one. Oh, well, this is just going to have one stamp on it. There we go. Cool. So, hopefully I can get this round the... Honestly, it taxes my brain every time I try and use them. So, that's that. Let's wipe this off on my... Not on my trousers. Look, it's not my trousers. Right, take that off and put that over there so then the next thing i did was i did this back page so now i've got my validation stuff on there i did the back page now what i used for the back page is another stamp so i've used this stamp now this is an atc stamp now i've never made any eight i've never hang on dave get 
grip. You want to go on like that. I've never made an ATC stamp. So what I did was I took the ATC stamp. Oh, it's the wrong way up, isn't it, Dave? It's going to go that way. Yeah. So I took the ATC stamp and I cut out the bits that said it was an ATC and, you know, what the artist was called, etc. And I was just kind of using it as because it looks like a, you know, a, a, like a validation stamp type thing. Anyway, but now I'm going to make the picture. Now I've been making some faux people pictures um, and I'm going to print one of them. So bear with when I do this. Just turn that printer on. Printer is on. Printer is on. Printer is off. Dave, you've turned the printer off. Printer is on. There we go. So I've got a picture. Okay, connect my printer. Great. And we're going to print this, hopefully. Print. So this is one I've created. So I might release these. I don't know. I'm just playing at the moment. So these images that I'm, I'm going to print out. Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what people's responses are when when this prints out, whether you like it or not. Um, they're like fake people. They're made to look like real people, but they're fake people. So, bit of digital manipulation, and you can make anything out of anything. So, same with the guy in the other one. That's a fake. That's a fake photo not a real person and the other thing I liked about it is I've got that embossing thing so I just embossed it to make it look like it was I mean like that says I think it's a stationary company but like you know if you emboss it the wrong way up it's a bit obscure and nobody, if you, nobody's really going to read it are they oh, let's get the back off this lady oh, dear. we're not going to get the back off this lady what is going on so yes this week is the week that um my auntie's funeral in fact you'll be watching this on tuesday um and the funeral is on wednesday so there won't be a video on, uploaded on wednesday that's why i staggered the i changed the staggering a couple of weeks ago to kind of get it to fall right so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this um, with with the ATC, previously ATC thing in a moment. But what we're going to do, we're going to stick this on here. There we go. It's got a bit of information on the bottom there. I don't know whether you can read. No, I think I've made it look like it was real writing, but... I'm quite, I've got quite good at doing the folk, fake writing. And then I did this. And just squeeze that in. And there we go. We've got that up there. We could pick that up with a bit of ink, I guess, and just make it look a bit more... Not a huge amount, but that's fine. And then what I did was I stamped over it with a little bit of writing um, to give it that authentic. You know me and my word authentic. You know, I know it's not authentic. I tried to make it look like it was some kind of validation stamp. So I just need to find that. Let's, oh, it's here. Sorry. Oh, in fact, I don't need to, it to be stuck on there. So I used a bit of, I think it was this blue, but I might use a different colour. I might use this other blue, wherever the other blue is. A blue. A blue. Not blue bear. Where is blue? 
whatever it is. And then I just did that like it's been validated. Like that. There's the top. This is what I, I mean, like, you know, everything I do is over the top. No, stamping over the top. This is what I like is that kind of like making the, the recreation of it looking like a, a an old piece of work. So you're right, piece of work, you are. Um, and we'll stamp this in. I might, no, black is too harsh. We want it because it's not a real stamp. We don't want it to look. Oh, that was it. We used this, which is hickory smoke. over it and I just lightly stamped it because I wasn't worried about it coming out properly I wanted it to look faded and warm there we go Brill. and then I filled in some blanks with some this is a very this is gray pen so you're not really gonna notice it and I just so writing and just squiggly squiggles because nobody's really going to read it. So anyway, <laughs> bit of squiggly squiggle. Um, then you can um, authorize it with a. Okay, authorized. <laughs> so, honestly, <laughs> I need to get out more, don't I? Um, <laughs> but there we go. That's the that's the back of the the passport done. And then this is the fun. The other fun part is because you can then go in and get all of your. I'm sure you've bought travelly kind of stampy things before, and I've got loads of them just hanging around. In fact, I've got a few here, and then you can just. Stamp to your heart's content now, so uh, we'll use we'll use the blue one. So I didn't. I don't know whether this happens to you, but like the only time I've ever had a stamp in a passport, um, it's just been a random place. They don't even start from front to back. They just find a page and stamp it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it look a bit different for because I'm going to use that stamp multiple times. I'm going to make it look a bit different on different pages, so it can't be. You can't really tell then what what's been used. Um, and this is when you have to have numerous stamp blocks going because you want to be able to switch and change. And oh yeah, I, I, it's my new stamp thing, and I'm I'm annoyed with myself because I got it dirty. So. And then this one, I just gave it a twist because it says something about something on it. <laughs> I can't remember what it, was, what it says, but it says something that I didn't want you to be able to read. So, um, and then you can just like off, off, stamp off a few places. In fact, that that looks like a good validation stamp to me. go braille oh yeah that's even better so so exciting i'm so excited sorry, <coughs> sorry any <laughs> dogs gonna hear me now <laughs> dogs and dolphins are clasping their ears and there you go a bit a bit skew whiffy stamp That's that. I'll start using the same stamp, Dave. Oh, maybe clean your stamp first, Dave, before you stick it in the next color. But and we're just flipping backwards and forwards now. Flipping backwards and forwards. Flipping heck. Um, let's use this. So find my other. 
this is like the cover for some stamps so I'm just using it for, because it's got over there so okay, I've just closed this and maybe I should have left that open it doesn't fox me opening it but it foxes me every time I try and close the blooming thing we want on here There's a globy stamp I'll put that on there this it's losing its oomph it's stickiness though so there we go we've got a few stamps going on in here I need to some of the shapes though I think stamp wise do we have anything that could be used oh i could use a bit of a bit of a stamp can we? a bit of a stamp can't we we can we can't we? we can do anything we like it's ours it's ours and nobody can argue Nobody can tell what it says. Fine, it's all fine and dandy. Oh, that one says New York on it. I remember that one. I, I used uh, salvage. Sorry for wiping it on my hands. <laughs> salvage patina on it, and it that was way ju too juicy. That was just went everywhere. Sploshy splosh, squishy squash. Um, colours we use for New York, maybe. Purple, okay, purple. New York, New York. Da 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 that's it. <laughs> Should have been on stage the next stage out of here. I know. I've heard it. I've heard it before. It has been said. So there we go. Put that on there. Maybe. Maybe another one of them in some colour. We haven't got much blue on here, so we'll do this in blue. And put that. There we go. Cool. So exciting! You see, I love I love having a bit of a, a random stamping. I don't like it. I don't like stamping when you have to kind of think about it. I like a bit of a, a bit of a random stamp. I'm a random stamper. It has been said. Okay, so now I need a serial number. Um, of some iteration. So I need to. Oh, I think sample might do me. Give me some justice. Yeah, we'll use this number. And I know I've used this in a million other things, but well, I'm using it in this one of course, so so tough. So I'm gonna put that so that it's gonna be in the right place, but not stick it just yet. I'm gonna stick it down with a bit of washi tape. And hopefully it'll stay. Just catch that edge there. And I'm going to flip it over. Hopefully it's in the right place. Let's flip it like that so it's flatter. Cool. Now we're going to give this a number and we're going to do it in. Come on. Blue. Blue. So that we can see. So we'll do this. Uh, sorry if my head's in the way. And then I'm just going to wipe off the excess. Oh no. Don't do this at home. Only I'm allowed to do this. I'm going to use that 51. Oh, should I use the 51? 
13. I might use the 13, it's easier to place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here. And then I'm going to stamp in there. And I'm going to take that bit off. That way then I'm only going to get the 13. There you go. Cool. Brilliant. And then... We need to put his name in, so we'll put his name on this bit now. So his name, her name. We're going to call her Muzz. Um, Muz Ethel Rose. There we go. So that can come out of there for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ink this up so we make it all grungy and old and gorgeous and sumptuous and marvellous and wonderful and every other thing you can think of. Nuss. Us. Us, nuss. Us, us. Let's do this bit. No, not with that one, Dave got a green one somewhere that's the green one there's this bit of green to give it a bit of a just give it a, a, a bit of a different color to it because we're using this file folder so we're going to give it a bit of a kind of yellowed over time look My phone's pinging and my watch is vibrating and I think Brian has messaged me. But obviously you guys are taking centre stage at the moment, so not worried about that. But if any, if my light, if my watch lights up, that's the reason why, because it's a an Apple Watch. So it's a very old Apple Watch actually. I've had it since it's a. A one series, so had it since 2015. It's still going, so is it 2015, 2016, something like that? I can't remember. Okay, I'm not worried about the inside looking different, but I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a zhuzh of a colour. It wouldn't have got as faded, but it might have a few handling marks on it and that sort of thing. Oh, what, what am I doing there, Dave? You know, you're not going to see that, are you? <laughs> you pillock. Um, because we're going to cover that up with that, aren't we? So, never mind. Let's do this one. around a while so then we're just gonna ink it as well we're gonna get a bit of a a tan well you know it's been on holiday bound to have had a tan that's just knocked that greeniness back as well which is good just need to be careful that we don't ink over that otherwise you'll get two lozenge shapes on that page yeah that's knocked that green back a bit and it looks a bit more army green so flip it over and then hide that around these windows where it's bound to have been thumbed to check its 
not counterfeit, etc. And then security, as they've been going from place to place, they'll have like checked to make sure that the window is intact and that it hasn't been tampered with and that sort of thing. So I always think that you know wherever finger marks will have been is where I want to put the ink. So there we go. That's that. Okay. And then we're going to put that inside there. Yes. Perfect. Let's take that bit off now. And we're going to ink the back of this up. So we're going to give it a bit of a green first. Is that the green? I think that is. Dave, you want to make sure that you don't get that too mucky. Put it on a piece of paper, Dave. Because the, the, this board is mucky, that's why. That's what I'm just conscious of. I don't want to be moving this around and it get a big mucky line across it. I mean, I don't, don't mind it looking a bit old, but you don't want it to have like a, a definite line streak across it. And then we'll just go over this with a bit of tea dye. And just knock that back a bit. So that's going to go on the inside of here. I think that's the right way up. It is. That was lucky. That was more luck than judgment, Dave. So we're going to just put this, a bit of this glue. No, we're not. Because you just left the lid off it, Dave. We're going to put a bit of this glue when I find the pen. I was thinking, oh, is it in the thing? But no, it's not. Oh, I don't know what we haven't done. We haven't done this. So we won't glue it yet, actually. That gives me a chance to, like, panic and think, where on earth is that pin? And go, oh, ow! That's it. That's it. No, it isn't. I haven't, don't worry. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't stabbed myself with a pin. Um, we are going to have to put some stuff on here. So we're going to have to put a... a should we have a tree? Let's go for a tree, shall we? And we need to just dry this off because this is already very wet with other um, with that other ink. We don't want it to get all confused about where we want the embossing powder. Dryer now. Okay. I'll hang it back up again. Hang on. There we go. Will that fit there? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not that tray then. It's not going to go there, is it? What can we have there instead? Let's just have a have a look. It's a little tray. It was a little er tray. That's maybe what I should have said. Oh, that'll go there. That's fine. We'll put that there. Cool. Okay, so now I need a stamping block. Of which you don't have anything left. There we go. Peel this bit off. Oh. Pick that up. Okay, so I'm going to use some of the... Um, bah! Ink. What is it? Embossing this. You know, when you can't get your words out, well, you, you probably can. I can. I've never never been able to. So I'm going to stamp this on here. Oh, let me do before it before I go any further, Dave. Step step back, Dave. Step away. There is. There is a little embossing. Bag. Please be around because that really does help. I, have, I might, I might have to come back to you in a second. So, you hold that thought. So I'm back 
Sorry about that. Found, I found what I was looking for, um, and um, I also tidied up a little bit before I did it. So this is my little embossing bag. Just it's a uh, you know something to make it less uh, staticky. It's good to bits edible, isn't it? Though only corn flour, I think. So because of I'm aware I've been gone a while. For you, no time has passed, but for me, I was searching for that. So I'm just gonna try and center it as best I can. Put it down. Press it in. Try not to move it as I'm doing it, because that's the other thing. I'm doing it on one side of a stamp block, which is probably not the best technique. There we go, that's stamped in. And then I need to get a piece of paper for the background. Oh, sorry, should have had this ready. I did have it ready and then I moved it out of the way. So this is going to go in the background. I'm going to get the gold embossing powder and we're just going to go over the top of that liberally. I don't believe that open. Close that up, otherwise it could all go horribly wrong. So just give it a bit of a, a bit of a tap in both ways. I've got a bit of a smudge going on in this bit this area here. But I'm not gonna worry about it. All part and parcel of the charm, isn't it? So put that in there. Yeah, we've kind of got a bit of a smudginess going on, but never mind. So I'm going to use my other heat gun, which is the one that is for better for embossing. Because it gets hotter and doesn't blow as hard. I'm gonna heat emboss this. go that's that done gonna get it all I did I'm sure the lids on that and goodness only knows what's stuck to the bottom of that so I'm gonna just move that bag out of the way find my cloth which is also on the floor along with everything oh not move the mat oh blimey Dave get a grip okay, move that out of the way so, and now we can put this on here and it should all be in the right place and it's all be tickety-boo and I still didn't buy the bin. <laughs> that was the other thing I was looking for, wasn't it, Dave? Yes, well, never mind. Didn't find it. Oh, it's coming out now. It's behaving now. So I'm going to put a bit of glue around this lozenge. And a bit of glue around this lozenge, and then the rest of the glue I'm going to put on this one, so I can have it round the edge of here. So we don't have too much glue going on. It's not less likely to squeeze out. And put a wiggle of glue down the middle of there. I'm just going to wipe off that excess there, so it doesn't squeeze out. That over, that's the right belt. Yep, always best to check that. And then we're going to put that on there, like so. I think that's going to be in the right place. It is excellent. Stick that down. Stick that bit down. Well, let's just get that, take that off there. Rub it down, and there we go. I think that's 
a little bit puckered because of the heat gun. But never mind. There we go, sort it now anyway. So there we go, that's it. So there we go, we've got um, another little passport so we can we can travel now. We can go together. There you go, so that was the prototype and then this is the the finished result. So um yeah, so hopefully you'll give them a go. That's just another thing. Great for little journaling card thing books to go in your in your journals. So there we go. So another video by Dasha Dave. So remember, you know what you've got to do, don't you? You're going to have to give this a thumbs up and a like, and you're going to have to share it with your friends, and you're going to have to, you know, subscribe at least, at the very least, subscribe. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all in the in the next video. So thank you all for watching. My name is Dasha Dave, and uh, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I will see you all very soon. You will take care. Lots of love and hugs. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.